What's up, what's up, guys? Welcome Hello. back to our YouTube channel. Hello, everyone. Where are we? We are in Anyuki. Okay. And yes. why are we in Anyuki? So, <laughs> we are in Anyuki because we moved from Dika and now we are in a place called Anyuki. Yeah, just yesterday. And uh, that wasn't the plan. Yeah, guys, it was not a plan. I went yesterday for house hunting. Uh, not house hunting. Moving vehicle <laughs> hunting. Yeah, yeah. So, I could not find it. And uh, the ones that we saw, they were not that good to move things. But the ones that I found, they told me that if it not be tomorrow, it will, they will not be available. So, what could you have done? And if it was for you? Yeah, so I got a phone call around noon. I was in the house, Dan was out looking for the moving vehicle. And he says, yeah, we're moving today. And I was like, oh snap, because I had packed some clothes a bit. Yeah, yeah. But in general, the house was not packed. So I knew I had about 30 minutes to get everything ready before he came with the van. <laughs> so it was chaos yesterday, complete chaos. Yeah, yeah. So guys, we had to to pack our things very fast. Yeah. And uh, not organized at yeah, all. Yeah, not organized at all. <laughs> then we started our journey. Yeah. Which it was a long journey, a lot of problems on the way mm -hmm. because there was a there was a jump. Big jam before Makuyu. Yeah. So we it took us how long to get from Thika to Makuyu? An hour, right? It took us an hour, yeah. A place you can just go for I think that minutes or twenty minutes. Twenty uh, yeah, it's yeah. not far. Thika and Makuyu aren't far yeah. apart. Yeah, and it took us one hour. Yeah. There, it was it's because there's construction. They're trying to make the road wider in that area and yet everything's like super congested. It was a it was a headache, yeah. Yeah, so it was a headache. Then traffic police, as usual, the way no. they were very, very... Not as usual. I have never yeah. myself been stopped in a private car um, in Kenya. And yesterday we got stopped three times. Three times. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what our luck was. I don't know if it's because it's a commercial car. Maybe it's because it's a commercial car or what. Yeah, someone said maybe because yeah. we had a mattress on top. Yeah, yeah. And so they could see we were like moving but you think anyway it was really frustrating yeah, yeah. and um the second one made me really angry yeah yeah we were very angry but we can't complain guys we arrived safely here then we had some punctures on the way yeah we also had a yeah. tire puncture but we arrived safely we are here now this is our new place we like it it's so nice we're gonna yeah. show you around or what do you think yeah let's give them a tour yeah and okay you just have to know that we came yesterday so I mean, we did our best to make things happen, but we still have some things in Pika that are moving later. later yeah. So, just know that this is not settled, Kabisa, but we're trying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not yet. Yeah. We are not yet completely settled. There are some things that are remaining. So, we're gonna show you around. Yeah. Ready? You gonna show them? Yeah, I'm gonna show them. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Tour. So let's start at the very beginning of the house. And I'm very excited because we have a lock, a handle. And in the US, this might not seem like a big deal, but here in Kenya, I think people might know that a lot of times they have these padlocks and you have to like stick your arm up inside of the room. And anyway, I'm never good at it. So I'm very good at keys. So <laughs> excited about that. Um, so this house we had not actually seen. We had seen a different apartment in the same building and we liked it, but we hadn't seen this one and we like this one so much better than the one we actually saw. So here we have a window that, I mean, it goes to a corridor, but there's nothing on the other side. So it's still kind of like our window, you know? So that's very nice. So it gets lots of light in here. And then my favorite part of the house, this giant window. And what you can do for whatever reason, the way they constructed this, 
I'm standing here. I could have like five, six people back behind this curtain. <laughs> it's kind of kind of random how it's made like that, but it. I love the window. It has lots of natural light, and you can also see the hills off in the distance. Can you see the hills off in the distance? The foothills of Mount Kenya. Yeah, you can kind of see them. Yeah, you can see them. Yeah, the whole town. Yeah, and we have Nanuki Town at our feet. So the building we're in is actually the tallest building in town. I think it's 12 floors? Yeah. Right? And we're on floor nine. nine. Yeah. So we're pretty high up here. And it's kind of nice because there's lots of people watching opportunities. <laughs> Not that I'm a creep, but you know what I mean. People watching is kind of fun. Okay. So come with us this way. We got our bathroom, which is just, I'm not gonna lie, it's not that glamorous. It's just a bathroom. But it's bigger than our last one, so it is an improvement. And then, oh, we're still in there, my bad. <laughs> yeah, we'll get a shower head eventually. Not right now, but we'll get one. And then the bedroom is in this way. And we put up a mosquito net because Dan loves them, but I really don't. So maybe you guys can comment if you like to have mosquito nets around your bed. I feel like it makes the room feel really small, but here we are. So um, we have a normal wardrobe. It's a bit smaller than our last one um, with only two doors. Our last one had, I don't know, a lot more space. I don't know how to explain it. So there's not much as much, as much space in this room, um, which is okay because the kitchen it is amazing. Oh, the nursing side. Wardrobe. Um, yeah. I want them to come to the kitchen because it's the best part of the house. Okay, I said that window in the living room is the best part, but the kitchen is the best part. And here's a window. It's a bigger window than the one we had in our bedroom last time. So again, more natural lighting, which I love. Um, yes. Come right this way, sir. And then this counter. Look at this counter space. I'm, I'm in love, I'm not gonna lie, because if you guys remember our tiny kitchen tour video, uh, yeah, the one in Thika was like this big, much counter space, and you had to share it with a sink. So we have upgraded. I mean, there's so much stuff I can do here. We have these covers with glass, so you can see inside, you don't have to open up. And in our last house, the cupboards were like up here, so you couldn't really see what was inside. You just had to like grab things. And here you can clearly see what's inside of it. So that's exciting. <laughs> I yeah. really like it. Yeah, I like it also. I think we can also be making some videos in this kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to do more cooking things, but I can't. Our tiny kitchen is hard to do cooking. Um, also, I love the tile because it's really easy to clean versus like paint and whatnot. So loving that. There's tons of cupboards compared to our last kitchen. There's drawers to put silverware in. Like I can't tell you how much nicer this kitchen is than our current one. And also there's a window above the sink. Okay, our current, the one in Thika also has a window, but it faces the inside of the apartment building, so you don't really have, you have a curtain there all the time. But here, I can actually like see things while I'm washing dishes or preparing. I can actually like see what's going on in the key. Okay, and then the final room of the house is the balcony, which is smaller than our last one, but it is still nice. And you can see so much town. It's a little loud with the, all of the bodas going constantly. And you can see there the main road of the key. This is how everyone gets anywhere in this town. So it's kind of nice that we have access to it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and then our favorite friend there, who is hiding currently, is Mount Kenya. So he's in clouds. I saw him last night, the peak of Mount Kenya last night. But there he is. So when the clouds are gone, we'll see it. And we'll probably show that sometime if we get it. So this morning, it was so cool to wake up and, and know that Mount Kenya was there, even though he was, he was in clouds, but it was really cool. Yeah. So that's that. 
only drawback on this balcony is there's no water spigot, faucet, whatever you call it, um, which it was nice in our last house. So that's the only thing that is like not my favorite, but it's pretty cool. What do you think? It's a very nice place. Yeah. I like it, yeah. 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 It feels like, spacious. Yeah, they like single smiling. Yeah, yeah. I know, because the kitchen. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah, so anyway, that's our house. Thanks for joining us on our tour. I hope you guys like it, and we will see you in the next video.